I'm starting to see why this is only two stars. It has a very see-through materials. Um, yeah, I have no words for how much I dislike this. <laughs> So a little while ago, we tried out Amazon's worst rated swimsuits and we were actually pretty pleasantly surprised. This time, we're gonna try out Amazon's worst rated sundresses to see if they truly deserve the shitty ratings that they have. always love sundresses no matter if they're long sundresses or short sundresses it's always been one of my favorite things i love sundresses i'm a super girly girl i love being feminine i personally love dresses i love cutesy little flowery dresses i love flowy dresses i think i'm a little bit nervous about like styling the stuff i don't really consider myself a fashionista per se at least what i've learned from the swimsuit is that everything is so easy to be customizable. I'm really interested to see what a worst rated sundress looks like because I almost feel like it's hard to mess up a sundress. Because the swimsuits we tried weren't that bad, I kind of have higher expectations than maybe I should for these dresses, but they are really low rated. And considering how many four and five star reviews there are on Amazon, they have to be pretty bad to be so low rated. So the color is really cute. It has a very see-through materials. I love the flowers. We love a flower moment. Okay, I'm starting to see why this is only two stars. It's a very bold color. It's giving me like strong Flintstones vibes. I think this is the kind of fabric that immediately creases and it's just gonna look bad as soon as I sit down in this thing. There is a little bit of stretchiness. I'm a little nervous that this won't fit or be too big. I am a plus size girl. Even though my titties look big, they're not that big. I just got a really broad back. Now they're like one step away from being TV titties if they weren't so sad, you know? The buttons are cute. I just like regular buttons. Most of the time you'll see me in a solid color but prints are fun. And I feel like experimenting with prints is a easy way to step up anyone's wardrobe. So this can be one of those moments where I take more of a risk. The fabric is so thin. You can see my hand through this. It seems quite small, even for a large to go around like underneath your chest. Yeah, it just looks like a cheap dress. This is how the dress looks. I actually like how the dress fits. I do think that once again, my titties are too small. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pleasantly surprised. This looks way cuter than I thought it would. I think it fits me so perfectly. Um, yeah, I have no words for how much I dislike this. It is not my style in any way. But I do like the fit of the dress. It's definitely shorter than I thought it would be, but the material is really nice. I think the real test about if this is really a good sundress will be how I feel outside because it kind of doesn't feel very airy. I don't know if I can step out into the Florida heat and be okay. It's a large and I have a huge gap right here because this doesn't stretch. And weirdly, it has one of those things at the back which is for stretching. I look like Little House on the Prairie, but like worse. I honestly think this is a very cute dress and I would wear this dress again. This is gonna be interesting because like I don't feel like I need to do much to style it. I genuinely have no idea how I'm gonna style this. Since it's a dress, I kind of don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep these gold earrings because they look hella cute. I feel like this could be interesting as a combo. It's, you know, doing the most, but maybe that could be cute. So my initial thoughts when it comes to styling is I might actually cut it up. The top half is so ill-fitting that I don't know how I'm going to make it look good. Therefore, I could cut it up into a skirt. So now that I've gotten a safety pin to pin this up a little bit so it's not like full titty moment, I like this just 10 times more and I think it's cute. I'll pull this out because denim jackets work on basically everything, but it's also a sundress. So I don't know about a jacket over a sundress, especially in Florida. So I'm literally just gonna cut it. I feel like I'm gonna cut it here so that I still have this button to keep things together. If I cut it here, it's just gonna come apart. Hey, hey, hey. God, what have I done? Maybe I could wear this long thing with the, the shawl. 
I can wear a jean jacket. Let's wear a jean jacket. I have zeroed in on an option. I love this hat. It's my mom's hat, and I feel like it's so extra because like it's so big and floppy. I'm definitely gonna wear it with this because it has that nice black band that goes with the black and the dress. So here's what it looks like right now. Obviously, I'm going to tuck this under. I still have the problem of trying to style it after this, but this is the start. And then I only have one belt, so this is just gonna have to work. I actually love this dress with the jean jacket. I think it looks really good. I think it accentuates the top and the bottom. I don't know, y'all, but we got one more option for the jacket. Like, I don't hate it, but it doesn't make sense. This is supposed to be a summer sundress, and a summer sundress does not need a jacket. What the f My lights are going on and off on their own. I have a ghost, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I actually really like this. This is something I would wear with brunch with the girls. The black and the white gives me like Corella DeVille, but I'm wearing a sundress, so you know, I'm not the bad guy in the movie. But I think my goal today is to make this more casual. Something that I would style for the everyday, you know, life. No. <laughs> I kind of look like a teacher that like wants to get down to be cool with the kids. He's very artsy, but also completely out of touch. I'm wondering if something like really summery would be good, like this, just to make it all bright and cheerful. Or my other thing I was thinking was something more sophisticated and more toning it down. So let's try them. So as much as I do love the yellow and the print together, the belt just kind of doesn't work. Next. These shoes with this dress, because it matches. And I know I style with these shoes a lot, but I just love a pair of blue Converse. What can I say? Welcome to Vivian's High School College Museum. I feel like these two cords could actually work with my fit. All right, I am pretty into this, actually. I think this kind of goes okay together. But I might try a hat. I have three hats, and I think it might be the black. I think this is too matchy matchy don't you think a lot of blue 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 blues yes yes the waist is on display hello waist i like this a lot this kind of makes it a little more edgy i feel like but still summer so that's good okay i think i have my look i styled my outfit with a pair of gold earrings jean jacket, Amazon dress with a safety pin, and my white sneakers. I think overall I did a great job on this look. It was something that I wanted to make more casual, more vibey. This came out really cute. I mean, the big floppy hat was really fun, and I love the big black band because it goes with the rest of the dress. I kept it a little bit more simple with the jewelry, mostly silver pieces, pretty dainty. And then adding my graduation cords around my waist, that was just fun. I like that it blends in with the dress a little bit, but it's definitely an added detail that really steps up the dress. I really love it. I feel like this is way cuter than I thought it would be. I'm fairly happy with my finished look. I know it's not a dress anymore, but I really wasn't sure what else to do. The only thing I wish is that the skirt was shorter because my booties kind of just look like black blocks under it. I like that this look isn't super girly because that's what I originally was kind of assuming I would have to go with because of how the dress looks. I would say my only complaint about the dress is the cleavage. Fitting things for me is always awkward, but my titties always do look great. And I would wear this dress again, but I would wear shorts. The middle was uh, very revealing. I would rate this dress a three out of five stars. So cuteness factor, I would give it more like a three and a half stars. But as far as like, can I wear this in the sun and be comfortable? It's a two. So unfortunately, I do think this dress deserves its low rating. Once I sew up the skirt and make it look more like a real skirt, I might actually wear it again. I would go out in this. But as a dress, no. 